Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain entropy with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first of all, I will discuss about basics of entropy. After that, I will explain properties of entropy. And at last, I will discuss about parameters of entropy. So let us start this session with first agenda that is basics of entropy. Let me give the definition of entropy first. See, entropy is the average information of all the symbols. In my last video, I have discussed about information. If you have one symbol that is having probability P, then information of symbol is log of base 2 1 divided by P. If you have multiple symbols, then you need to identify information of all those symbols and average of all those symbols is entropy, right? So entropy is the average information of symbols. Let me explain that. Let us consider we have message X that is having multiple symbols. Those are X1, X2, X3 up to Xn. And these symbols is having probabilities P1, P2, P3 up to Pn respectively. Then by calculating average information of all these symbols, one can calculate entropy, right? So first of all, we need to identify information of these symbols. See, information can be calculated by log of base 2, 1 divided by probability. So for symbol x1, information is i1, that is log of base 2, 1 divided by p1. For symbol x2, information is i2, that is log of base 2, 1 divided by p2. Likewise, for all the symbols, one can calculate information, right? To understand entropy, we need to identify average of all this information. And that can be calculated by estimation of information. Let me explain how to identify estimation. See estimation of this information that is average of information. Function of estimation is summation PI II. So here we need to do summation of probability into information for all the symbols and that is resulting into entropy. What is information? Information is log of base 2, 1 divided by probability. So here, if you talk about entropy, then that is summation probability into log of base 2, 1 divided by probability, right? If you talk about information, then that is log of base 2, 1 divided by probability. But when you talk about entropy, at that time, you'll have to multiply probability with information. That is only the difference which is there in between information and entropy, right? If you talk about unit of entropy, then that is bits per symbol. See, definition is average information of symbols. With information, unit is bits. So if you identify average information of symbols, then that will be bits per symbol, right? So you need to remember this equation. Entropy is summation pi log base 2 1 divided by pi, right? Now, let me explain properties of entropy. So, first property states that if the event is known, then entropy is zero. So, first of all, you need to know what is known event. See, if event is known means what? We already know the probability. Like if you know the event, then you can say probability is one. Or if you say we don't know the event, then you can say probability is zero. So if event is known, then one can say probability is zero or one, right? Means there is no uncertainty, right? So if event is known, then one should know probability is zero or one. If you talk about entropy equation, then that is P log of one divided by P. If you talk about zero probability, then zero into anything that will be zero. And if you talk about probability one, 
then one log of one that will be zero log of one is zero so zero into one is zero right so here we have zero log of infinity but zero into anything is zero that is how one can say here we have entropy that is zero so one can say if event is known then entropy is zero right let me explain second property see here we have probability that is 1 by m here we have m symbols with equal probability if you have m symbols with equal probability then but obviously with each symbol probability will be 1 by m in this situation entropy will be log of base 2 m let me explain that see here we have entropy equation that is summation probability log base to 1 divided by probability right here what is probability 1 by m so instead of probability i have substituted 1 by m so see here we have 1 divided by probability so here we will be having log of base to m now if you carefully observe here we are performing summation how many symbols are there m so if you add 1 by m m times then that will be 1 so you can say entropy over here is log of base 2 m and this condition is the maximum bound of entropy means this is the maximum entropy that is possible with m number of symbols right so if you have equiprobable symbols then we have upper bound of entropy means here we are calculating h max means maximum entropy right so these two properties are there with entropy now let me discuss about parameters of entropy first parameter is source efficiency see efficiency is h divided by h max h is calculated entropy of the source and h max is maximum entropy of source and one should know maximum entropy is possible as if we have all the symbols with equal probability and that will be log of base 2 m so by taking a ratio of this two one can identify efficiency here m is number of symbols right second parameter is redundancy see redundancy is one minus efficiency right and always remember this efficiency that is there in terms of value which will be there from 0 to 1 if you multiply 100 then efficiency will be there in terms of percentage and here redundancy that is 1 minus efficiency one should know redundancy means how many extra data is there right so in terms of percentage extra data can be calculated by 1 minus efficiency into 100 right now let me discuss about third parameter that is information rate capital R that is bits per second. See information rate capital R is small r into h. Here h is calculated entropy and this small r is rate at which messages are generated. See rate of messages that is messages per second and entropy unit is bits per message. So if you multiply this two, then message is getting cancelled and we will be having unit that is bits per second. So information rate is small r into h where small r is rate at which messages are generated and h is calculated entropy. So these three parameters are very essential in entropy and using this parameters and definition in future coming videos, I'll be solving many problems. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.